Doctor, this whole past week it's been getting worse. I'll up the dose by 500 milligrams. Now, tell me about this week. What happened? I was walking to my class, same as always. Then suddenly, I heard the voice calling to me. Is it the same voice as always? Yes, only this time I felt this feeling like if it was there down the hallway. What did it say? Little rabbit, little rabbit, come to us, come to play. Come down the home, forever you'll stay. Then what happened? Then I looked up and I seen something looking at me from the top of the building. What was it? I don't know, but it wasn't human. That much I can tell. That's when your classmates found you? Yes. So after that, you decided to go back with your mother? I did, but it didn't help. My mother was very strict when I was a girl and a devoted Catholic. Whenever I was in some kind of accident or something bad had happened to me, she'd always claim that it was because I let Satan into my life. She would always say that I needed to pray more. When I moved in with her, she said I didn't need the medication. That the word of God would be enough to rid me of this evil. She even went as far as dumping my medication down the drain. So you were without medication for how long? Just for that day, but that night was unbearable. The hallucinations became more vivid. Are you still living with her? No, I realized if I stayed, she's stubborn and she wouldn't listen to reason. So I went to live with my boyfriend. I have to assume your boyfriend is more reasonable. Yeah, we've been together for a while now, almost three years but he doesn't know how to react to my recent outburst. Do you still live with him? Yes, he works most days, so I only get to see him at night. And that's when the hallucinations become more severe and the voices come back. Hello, friend, buddy, pal, little rabbit. Tired of dealing with the unnecessary burdens of the world? Tired of seeing the world the way society wants you to see it? And most importantly, just plain tired? Then come to the hole, the number one spot to let all your worries and fears slip away. Your life will be complete if you just come down, if you just come with us. If you come with us, if you come with us. So after your boyfriend found you unconscious, he brought you here. So now what? Do I get to go home with more medicine and hope for the best? But my dear, you are home. What do you mean? Allow me to explain to you what happened. I'm having trouble. I bet you are. You know what would be great? There's a razor blade behind the cabinet. Do you want to see what your veins look like? Or you know what? The school's building's pretty tall. We can jump off. We'll glide gently back down. Shut up! How can I? You and I, we are one. The others, they want you to live to suffer. Nobody wants to help you. Your mom only wants you to live to carry on her misguided ideals. And your boyfriend, well, we both know he's just in it for the fuck. And the so-called doctors, think of how much money they're making off of you. Face it, your life is only so that they can help themselves. You mean nothing to them. You mean nothing to the world. I'm the only one trying to help you. I care for you. Who are you? I'm the part of you 
that you've been suppressing all these years. I am truth. I am death. I am salvation. Fuck you, you're just an hallucination. I'm gonna get rid of you. Allow me to explain to you what happened. Yes, you did overdose. And yes, your boyfriend brought you here. But only after he came home. Five hours later, which was too late. You didn't make it. The brain remains active for six minutes after the body is dead in, in this state. Six minutes can seem like six days. Your mind, however, is still playing tricks on you. Creating all of this, including me. What? It's, it's not possible. It is. But one thing is for certain. You have to go back. You have to make it to the light. To find paradise, you must first traverse hell. <laughs>